Okay. Hey guys, it's Techline here with a how to video on installing Windows 8 Developer Preview. Let's get started. So, as many of you guys have heard, Windows 8 Developer Preview has been released for developers, and you may want to know how to install Windows 8. Hence, the video is being made. So, basically, first you're going to go down to this link. I'll have all the links in the description below. And basically, you're going to have to get the version of Windows that you want to get. So, if you're actually a developer, um, you're going to need to get this file, which is a 4.8 gig file. It has, of course, the Windows Developer Preview, the SDK, Visual Studio, Expression Blend, and um, <coughs> some Metro style apps. Um, if you're just downloading to see how it looks like, um, you can get the 64 bit version. Um, for this demonstration, I'm just going to use a 32 bit computer because it's a bit less taxing on my hardware. Um, some things to keep in mind um, a 1 gigahertz or a faster 32 bit or 64 bit processor, um, 1 gig of RAM if you're running on 32 bit, that's for us, um, 2 gig of RAM if you are running 64 gig, 64 bit, sorry, um, 16 gigabytes available hard disk space, 32 bit, and 20 gigs for 64 bit, um, DirectX 9 graphics. Um, um, if you want to use it as a touch screen, then you need to have a screen that supports multi-touch. And if you want to run the Metro style apps, you need a screen resolution of 1024 or 768 or greater. Um, this we can ignore because we're going to be running in VirtualBox, and that takes us to VirtualBox right here. This is what we're going to use so we don't have to replace Windows 7. So first of all, just go to Downloads right here um, and get the one that works for you. So for us, it will be Windows Host, so yeah. So download it and run the installer, and that should take you to over here. Okay. So, <clears throat> welcome to VirtualBox. And then you see the penguin and butterfly flying around, and those butterflies are a bit outdated, but whatever. Um, just click New, uh, Next, and type in the name. Windows 8. Yay. Wait. Yay! Okay, um, operating system, Microsoft Windows, and choose Windows 7. If you're running the 64-bit version, click that one, but Windows 7 for us. Next, um, base requirement is 1 gigabyte. Next, uh, we need to create a new hard disk so it can actually install. So, next, VDI. Uh, dynamically allocated means if you're going to get more files, it's going to expand, but it's usually faster on fixed size, but it'll just do dynamically allocated. Um, next and 20 gigs and create and create so there it is Windows 8 yay so just go into settings for that and there's some things that we need to do um, wait not there okay system um, enable IO APIC um, for the processor enable PA PAE slash NX um, display enable 2D acceleration Change the video memory to 32. Um, storage. Um, that's where the um, ISO file that you downloaded will be going. So just click on that and click on this little disk icon. Then click choose a virtual CD DVD file. And over here we'll just scroll all the way to the bottom. So it will tell me. Okay, so there it is. Open up. And there we go. So okay. So once you've checked, you have all of these. You can even use your internet connection. So. Let's try that and start it up. And OK. OK. And OK. OK, Windows Open Preview, the initial boot screen. OK. Yes, we know that. <coughs> Okay, so English, English United States, US, and next. And click install now. Get that full screen. Okay. Set up a starting. So just wait. And there we go. I accept it. Just read it really fast like I do. Yay. Okay. You don't have to do that, but just click I accept. Uh, next. And we have to do custom. And that's where the 20 gig virtual disk you chose, so just click that and next. And now it's going to copy all the Windows files onto your hard drive, and now this is the part where you have to wait. Luckily for you, I'm just going to cut the video, so 
you'll see it at like around 90. Okay, so we're back. So it's at 98%. And we just wait for it to be 99. And then do you know what comes next? 100, yay. Okay, so it's gonna install the features. And after that, installing the updates. If you have a Wi-Fi connection, it will update it. And then it's gonna complete the installation. And restart now. Okay, so it's gonna restart. Surprise. And just wait for that to finish doing that. Okay, and Windows Developer Preview again. So after that, you'll see the fun new loading thing. Thank you for telling me that virtual box. Okay, so setup is updating registry settings. And after that, that's going to be and now we wait. Okay, so it's going to prepare your system. Preparing. <clears throat> and getting devices ready, such as my mm, Wi Fi thingy. Okay, so. Give us gives us some numbers again. We love numbers, don't we? Okay, so seventy four and seventy eight, eighty four, ninety, and almost a hundred. Right now the network's going crazy, but okay, hundred percent, we're done. So now I think it should be taking us to the setup screen. Getting system ready. And again, it's going to restart your PC uh, once again. <laughs> so, yay. Again, wait. And, okay. And now I think it's supposed to take you to the setup screen. Hopefully, it does not restart again. Preparing. And there we are. Personalize. Okay, we'll just call it our regular V sec. Lion next. Uh, just use the express settings since I don't want to go through that. The tech no tech lion password 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 stop cheating. Next, okay. Finalizing your settings. And please wait, and there we go, the welcome screen. If you have reached this, that means you have successfully done everything, and yay, preparing your PC. So, let's wait. And there we go, we have Windows 8 on this system. So, this is the new Metro UI. Um, I think these are the 25 included apps. So, yeah, Aircraft, Node Space, Bitbox. Yeah, so, <clears throat> this seems pretty cool for the new UI, but this would get very annoying if you have to use this as your whole start screen 
if you actually boot up like this but luckily for you there is the desktop and there you have the regular Windows desktop see the start button's a bit different but that start button takes you here which is gonna be a bit annoying but I think there is a registry tweak that you can use to get rid of this whole mess but it <clears throat> depends on the user do you like it do you hate it or are you just thinking this is a new refresh just for the new UI let me know in the comments below and thanks to Pyrito I, our new partners that and okay let's add that in okay pyrito.com thank you for loading see the windows dev center there no one cares about that okay so pyrito.com so there we have it um they have some great articles here um credit to the writer who is just amazing um some windows 8 news right there um and you can just check out all the latest tech news over here plus now you can see our new latest videos up here too so made by the tech line um, our triple booting our, all of our videos are right here um, so that's it and be sure to rate comment and subscribe to the tech line and we'll see you in our next video